This physique, I call it the middle school chonk, someone who clearly fell in love with eating, especially chocolate. In my case, it always went like this, binge eating and then feeling guilty, trying to lose fat and then messing up again. Somebody that didn't know anything about fitness, but with a deep desire to build a good healthy body. My body transformation took many years, but this was due to the fact that I lacked knowledge about fitness for a real long period of time, up until about 2019 and I had a food addiction for many years that needed to be cured. Bro, I just loved eating. Even when I lost weight and got pretty lean, I was still suffering from binge eating, which made the whole journey a lot more complicated. In this video, I want to share my core principles that got me to where I am now. Everything started in middle school. Like everyone who is overweight, I wanted to lose that fat. In the beginning, I tried to lose weight by going for casual runs. Why are you running? Why are you running? And it worked okay. Couple of push-ups here, some crunches there. But not very consistent. And simultaneously I was doing some martial arts. It was just that I still didn't know anything about fitness and nutrition. And I actually didn't want to know more about that space. Because I thought it was kind of weird. But then the pandemic hit. All of a sudden my sports lessons basically disappeared and I needed to find other ways to keep my body fit. So this is where I finally opened myself up to the internet. I started doing home workouts or worked out in a park. This is when I really started thinking about fitness and I started seeing results. My workout plan back then was pretty minimal and simple. A lot of bodyweight exercises, push-ups in all variations, handstands, dips and pull-ups in the park and even with trees. I wish I had some more footage from that time, but back then the idea of recording myself during workouts didn't really fathom my mind. But I heavily prioritized my upper body, especially my chest and back. Fast forward to last year where I signed up for a serious gym. And this is when my journey of nutrition and fitness really got some... some speed. When it comes to exercise, I learned that it doesn't have to be complicated. Everybody is busy and has no time. So there needs to be a way to fit in effective workouts with all the other work that needs to be done. Rule number one, you really don't have to do many exercises per session. A minimal routine, training sessions three times a week and four to six exercises per session are enough to build a good body. But here comes the second rule, you need to lift heavy. Doing a lot of reps will increase your muscle endurance, but lifting heavy is going to really give you the progress and the aesthetic lean body, and it's a lot more faster. Stop doing 50 push-ups, instead do 20 with added weight. Stop doing 30 reps of bicep curls, instead do 10 with a bit more weight. Even when you're somebody who likes to do bodyweight exercises like myself, adding some kind of weight, for example weighted dips or weighted pull-ups, is extremely helpful to gain muscle faster or finding other ways to increase the intensity of the exercise, for example, incline push-ups. Rule number three, progressive overload. This is increasing the weights in your sets. A simple example, you do four sets of an exercise. You start with 50 kg, in the second set you increase the weight to 55 kg, and then in the next set to 60 kg. Do the exercise until you feel like you can't do another rep, and in the last set you go down to 50 kg again and do the exercise until you feel like you can't squeeze out another rep. The diet is the other half of the equation. And before you click off, no, I'm not gonna tell you to stop buying ice cream and eat broccoli all the time, so buckle up. Diet's a topic I got into about two years ago. Before that, you know, I just ate what my mom cooked me. Fortunately, it was pretty healthy. But that food, plus my binge eating food, this destroyed all of the benefits. What I learned is that diet is all about sustainability. It is significantly harder to sustain a lean body when you're constantly burning out and going back to old habits. Pick whatever suits you best. If you love pasta, then well, eat the pasta. But before you go ahead and inhale ungodly amounts of pasta and f*** up all the workout progress you have made, there is an important universal rule that is applicable to all people. And this is really, really important. Hear me out. It is staying in a good caloric range. As long as you don't overeat, you can have ice cream. Honestly, this would not be the healthiest option, but as long as you train a good amount, get adequate protein and stay in your caloric range, you are fine. This is what I did for all the years. I consumed not more calories than I burned. Even when I was binge eating, I didn't really gain weight because I wasn't inhaling more calories than I burned on that day. 
If you're just aiming for a good lean body, the rules I set out in this video will absolutely be enough to get you started. In the future I will make really detailed videos about all the nutrition principles to build a solid body. In case you struggle with binge eating, watch the video of how I managed to break free from it. Stay focused.